It was a bad feeling. Um, we were nearly out of the competition and uh, even if uh, ahead of us there was two home games um, to come back in the race of the qualification. Um, it was important to stay positive and to keep the belief. Uh, but it was very hard, uh, individually, obviously with the red card and, uh, and the consequence with the second goal scored in, uh, in the late uh, game and, uh, and with the draw. Um, but we know how we, we end uh, the, the group stage and, uh, in, in the best way. Did, did the boss say something? In, he said to us after the game, we need a miracle now, one point after three games. Like, I don't think anyone else has qualified with a start like that. What did he say to you? Did he did he manage to stay positive and say like we can still do it, or there was still a bit of a everybody was a bit down and no, you are still warm after the game and uh, and you don't talk too much. Uh, you just need a few days now to uh, to switch off from this game and uh, and to think about the, the others. Um, but the approach was like usual, no. Um, to win uh, the home game against the PSV, to, to keep the belief. And, uh, and as I said, uh, at this moment was very important to stay positive, to stay calm, um, because we knew with, uh, with two wins in a row, we could be back uh, in, a, in the qualification race. Um, and then happen what happened in, uh, in Barca. And, uh, and we all know, um, um, this feeling uh, that night. No? So let's go to that game. What, from where you are, how do you see that game going? You, you're, you're the best team, but at, until until last few minutes, you're still out. Yeah, we played uh, an amazing performance. Uh, uh, Usman Dembele scored uh, an amazing goal on the on the counter attack, but. Uh, we, do, we don't used to see Barca losing the control of the ball um, in that way. Um, of course, they, they manage a uh, few players uh, to rest, uh, they're their main players. But, um, but, you know, when you start to miss one chance, two chances, when you see the, the, the keeper saving amazing balls, you say, no, tonight is not tonight, no? And then when uh, when Lucas scored uh, this very very important goal, um, uh, I think it was ten minutes left. Um, we started to believe, and um, we knew at the half time that the result of Inter Milan too. And and then yeah, uh, we were in that type of circumstance. You always need a bit of luck, and uh, and th that's what happened. Yeah. So we said, let's say that's the first miracle, because the boss said we need a miracle. You're through. But in that night in the camp now, with all the fans and everything, you're thinking like, OK, this, this is a bit special, really. Yeah. Um, it was the, the first main moment of the Champions League campaign. Um, I still remember how we celebrated with the fans. They were, they were quite uh, high in the stand. And, uh, but we, they made such a noise. Um, when the um, Inter Milan game finished, and we understood straight away, you know, and um, and wa it was a big brief in a, in our season. Yeah. Then we go to the last 16. It's, it's very controlled, even if the first half maybe in the first leg at Wembley, Dortmund played well, convincing win. Second leg, you control the game really well. You won away in Germany, not easy. Then we get to the quarters and. And Man City first the first leg in the new stadium and the Aguero penalty. First the Dortmund games. Um, even if the both scored where where the game looked easy when you see the result, but was not easy at all. Uh, I think Dortmund played fantastic games uh, in both legs, but. Uh, Everything went in our, in our side uh, during uh, those games and, uh, and it helped us to, to, to go through. Um, and then we face City. Uh, it's never easy to, in terms of approach to, to play an English club in a different comp in European competition. And um, it doesn't happen so often, but uh, um, it was a good experience, especially because uh, the game turned in, in a way. Uh, 
The second leg is really the one that everyone will remember for the amount of goals that it was scored in the first 10 minutes, in the first 20 minutes. And obviously for the, for the finale, the, the Llorente goal first. From where you are in the second half where you're really struggling and they are on top, how, what, what goes through your head and through your feelings? Yeah, now we, we can see how important is to is to not concede a goal at home uh, because uh, at the end he made a difference uh, in both confrontation. Um, but we suffered. I, I think I've never seen uh, my team suffer uh, in in this way uh, in the second half in City game. Uh, we could not uh, make two or three passes in a row. Uh, we could not breathe, um, but we stay strong and uh, and we try to stick together. When they scored the, the fourth goal uh, at this moment of the game, they they were they were qualified, and uh, and I think this is probably the moment that they lost a little bit the concentration and the focus uh, because they made such effort to come back in the game. And uh, and we use the, this momentum uh, to turn the, the, the game in, in a way, and uh, and we all know the importance of set pieces. And um, and like he used to do all season, Fernando um, has been decisive in a few key moments, and um, and it was the case uh, at City. For you in the second half, are you in the zone because you make a save and then you get up, and almost five minutes later you have another save to make, and then you get up again, and he's because it's so relentless that y that keeps you in the zone yeah probably um because in that type of game you you don't have time to think uh because of the intensity because of the importance any detail can can help the team to uh to go through and um and this is exactly what happened um and then at <laughs> At 4-3, it was even worse for us because we, <laughs> we stay 11 <laughs> in front of the goal and, and then happened uh, this um, goal disallowed by, by, by the VAR. And at this moment was the, the end of the world. No? For 10, 15 seconds, we were all down on the floor and, and then the, the referee dec decision uh, yeah, saved us. No? Like... Uh, we could not believe, no? <laughs> could you see the referee? Could you see there was something happening or you were too heartbroken? No, we were all heartbroken, but um, it's the referee who, um, who, who told us no, that uh, he's checking the goal because probably th th there is probably an offside. And, um, but I remember Bernardo Silva, who, who, were not s who was not celebrating the, the goal and and yeah, it was like a clue, no? Some, something happened, and, and, uh, so it was, was good for us, yeah. Because when you, w from where you are, you can't, you can't, f you don't think that he's offside, you, it's too quick, because Bernardo says from where he is, he has a feeling that he's slightly offside. No, and, um, and with the VAR, you cannot stop uh, anymore, like before. Uh, you, you have to finish the action, and then you can check, and uh, you cannot stop before because you, you never know if he's no offside. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit the mess for for the defense and, and for the keeper. So uh, we used to repeat uh, to each other to to finish the action, and then we see. So for the second half, 45 minutes, you hardly can breathe. Then for 50 seconds, you think you're out, and then you actually qualified. What is I remember this. It's quite funny because we celebrating, we celebrated this this, uh, this goal disallowed like a goal that we scored. No, I remember the bench. I remember the Spurs fan. Uh, and I remember all my teammates. Uh, was a uh, yeah, was a, was a, was a good moment now for 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 all the the Spurs side. Obviously. There's Musa in the dressing room thinking that. You are out. And this is amazing. No, when, when you say to me <laughs> after the game what, what he did, yeah, we we love we love a lot. Right? <laughs> so that's the in a way the second miracle. Let's call it like that. And then we get to the semi-final where Ajax play a very good game. At, you know, in your stadium, 
And then there's that second leg. Is there still a belief in the second leg when they've started so well and you haven't started so well that you could still do it? What, what happened at halftime, for example? Um, there was plenty of belief after the first leg, uh, even if we were all disappointed with our performances. Um, I think the first half in Ajax was not so bad. Um, but they were more efficient than us. Uh, they scored two goals. Uh, and then we were back to the wall. Um, at this moment, it was important to stay positive. Um, and the only word was, OK, we have to score one goal and maybe we can create a depth in their mind. And that's what happened. The worst feeling in football when you're on the pitch is when you play and you can lose everything. Um, and that's what happened probably for, for Ajax. Uh, and, uh, and I think we, um, we, just, we just get the, 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 the right feeling at the right moment and, and we all increase our level. And, uh, and then Lucas uh, yeah, was the, the main protagonist of, of the game and, uh, and was the hero of, 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 of this game. Yeah. Three goals for him, all on his left foot, when he's, when he's you know, a, quite a right footy player. It's incredible. And, and again, is there a feeling that through from the beginning until, until the final, there was something written somewhere, it was sort of your destiny to, to get there? Too many things have happened your way. Yeah, <coughs> but... Um, there's no place for random in, in, in football. Uh, if you get you get what you deserve, uh, we know it's not only this season, but the last four five seasons we we've made so much effort to to help the club to improve, um, to go in the right way. Um, the credit belongs to the Gaffa and, and, and his coaching staff. Uh, they brought the right energy and, and the right philosophy uh, into the, the, the club and and we've, we've worked so much to be at this level that, um, you know, I can remember in a few moments, uh, like when Leicester won the title, you could see that the thing didn't go in a way. And and maybe this season in Champions League is a little bit the opposite. It doesn't mean that we're going to win, but um, it happened, it probably it happened because we, we deserve And But now uh, it's the massive chance of our career and, uh, and for the club to, to make history.